Don't mind me, just uh, listening to cat with my cat in my study with my uh, pork chops. Anyway, we'll pork chop. In today's episodes, things are going to change forever. dancing but in today's episode we're building our most insanely powerful farm uh insane sorry an insanely powerful farm that was added in 1.16 and well <laughs> it's so easy to build i could spend time dancing with my cats that's, that's that just about sums it all up so Another never themed episode. Soon we'll be working on turning these pumpkins into pure cash. <laughs> yeah. Mmm, cash. So delicious. Anyway, wish you could sell gunpowder. Sell gunpowder, too. Okay, let's do this. We're going to be swinging back into the nether. And it's going to be, it's going to be massive one today. You know, there's an animal in my house. Well, I don't know if you can call it, can call it that. Let's see, let's see, let's see in the mob, the mob statistics. 4,226 blades. Mm, that's very fun, isn't it? 160 weeks, 237 drown. One and drown. Oh yeah, 15,641 endermen. 11 gas. And here it is. The big chunk of meat. 32 hoglins. Half a stack of hoglins are killed. That's ridiculous. It's rubbish. These guys, they are big, chunky, and annoying. Their children are so irritating. I just... Argh! And so today, we will destroy them. You know what else I'm going to do? It's 331 magma cubes? That's insane! I think that's a glitch. That can't even be right. Five heads, 121 pigments, 9 pigment brutes. Oh yeah. 41 pillagers, 165 salmon, 6 sheep. Shh, no, that never happened. Shh, I don't kill sheep. 123 fish shulkers, I like that. 20 silverfish, 1,532 yeah. skeletons, 40 slimes, 78. Spires 177 squid, one stray, we'll talk about those later. No, 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 I didn't do that. Five witches, three withers, uh-huh, 458 with the skeletons, yes, 7,364 zombies, mm -hmm. I was AFK. Two zombie villagers, 40 zombie, five pig, and that's it. Okay, so today, the big, the big chunky meat guy. So... And we're gonna be farming them. So, jungle base. Why am I still doing it? Right here. In my house. It's ridiculous. Let's go. Jungle base. Uh, it's food supply. It's currently le baked potatoes. Now, the le baked potatoes, they are very nice. They're a bit creamy and buttery, you know. It's not really, I can't stand baked potatoes in my life. But, the thing is, <laughs> that looks ridiculous. But the boat is gone. That's rude. That is just so rude. <laughs> anyway, um, the thing is, I wanted, we made a semi-automatic pig farm, then found out that it didn't actually work in 1.16. It doesn't actually work in the latest of Minecraft. Either that or I just build it wrong. And either way, I'm not going to be bothering with it. So, basically what we had to do, is, is rebuild, we had to find a new food source there, and baked potatoes, they were going to be quite temporary, they became less temporary, oh my gosh, look at that, finding walks a little bit further in this cave, you can totally see it right there, it's so cool, I do love how close that bastion is to the nether hub here, in the, 
in Rivertown's Nether Hub. Maybe we'll be fixing it up and building there soon. Ah, uh, or at least some point. So, the thing is though, the big, the big cool thing is that uh, pigs aren't the only ones to drop pork chops. There's a big stinky animal that stinks, so no. What am I even doing here? This is the wrong tunnel! Oh, that's just set me off, man. I am gonna get you with Mojira! <laughs> Down the right tunnel, which is this way. Shh! We found you guys soon. Not today. Get out the way. Fine, get in the boat. I suppose you can get out the way. You're smart, 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 smart people to make. So if we come up here, we get to a spot where in the last episode we did something incredible. We smashed the bedrock hole right there, so just from my jewel. Look at that. Literally no idea where you landed, but no mobs spawn on this bedrock block. On bedrock blocks, this is just like a big, massive, open area. It's so incredible. And in today's episode, well, we're gonna be building something today, and it's gonna be so insanely simple. My head might fall off. It's a controversial farm, actually, but basically, what it is, well, I think you've already guessed. It's a hopping farm. <laughs> But Hogan Farms, Hogan Farms, uh, yeah, Hogan Farms are incredible. Uh, so Hogan, they drop a lot of food. Now, pigs. You can breed pigs. You can also breed Hoglins, but you can breed pigs. And that's what our farm was based off of. But let's say you want to make a spawning based pig farm. Now, pigs do spawn very, very rarely. Passive mobs spawn super, 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 super slowly. I have it in my head that it's 500 times slower than a hostile mob, but I'm not sure if that's a cheap correct stat or just something I randomly got in my head. But hoglins, they attack us. They are vicious, vicious creatures. And the thing is, the very cool thing, they spawn as hostile mobs. And hostile mobs appear so frequently, like with mob farms and things, it's how they aren't super duper slow. And nighttime doesn't take the entire nighttime to fill up the mob cap. Uh, basically, hostile mobs spawn very, very quickly. And hoglins, well, they are the hostile mobs, and they also they also drop a lot of meat, and that's where today's awesome build comes in. Awesome build. So in this chest, and this is exaggerated amounts of crimson stems and nether bricks, and those are just building blocks. Obviously, you could eat and use you could use cobblestone, dirt, anything you wanted. Uh, except the only block you couldn't use is red nether wart. It has a special property that hoglins and piglins don't spawn on top of it, so don't use that. More magma blocks. Oh, and make sure you're in a crimson forest, obviously. That's the only biome that um, hoglins spawn in is the crimson forest. You can tell from the F3 menu or just looking at all these swirling particles around it. They're really red. The nether waste is, has a red fog around it, but it also doesn't have the particles. Might have some particles, but I'll get into what that is. So, basically, what we do, what we do right now, it's pretty incredible. We're pretty sure. So we're just building a super simple. It is awesome to be building this finally, though. So this is going to be uh, the jungle base's main food supply. Only food supply, really, because there's no need for anything else. The potato gardens, unfortunately, kind of useless now. But it's a sweet, sweet build. I love it. Wait. Oh, wait, some that's no, 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 sorry, I missed We're also going to be needing a bit of scaffolding today. So once you get up to... The only downside of this is where you have to AFK the farm. But it's not that massive. Oh, a downside, so... Extra things. Okay, so, uh, scaffold. Okay. Snake, get out of the I meant to let you swap out the snake, but that was a bit of a mistake. <laughs> okay. Now. Ow. Six. 
nether bricks, that's the mouse. Chiseled nether bricks with the wind spelling faces. Oh, that's so good. So fantastic. Okay, I'll just quickly check. Now I have to see the diameter of the um of the farm. The the area of the farm, yeah. So you got that there. Those slabs actually. So you got slabs there. Should I talk about yeah, maybe I'll talk about the mechanics how this farm works. Right now in well no, I think it'll be cool to talk about it in the other one. Okay, so Anyway, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve by one, two, four, five, six, uh, twelve by six. Do I have enough? Yeah, I would. Twelve by six. Okay, so make a twelve by six platform off of the back of that. And we'll put in the rest of like the deep that one well, not really details, the rest of the necessities later. So that's two. Then you go three, four, five, six, seven. Centered. I can't actually tell. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, so it um, does unfortunately have a two block center. So, yeah. This is sad. Actually, that's just so true. Yeah. See, so yeah, I try to incorporate a decent amount of chiseled nether bricks into this. Uh, but yeah, it seems to have two on this side, two blocks away, like two blocks there. And three over here, and that we should sure is meant to be less soul sand. Oh, not soul sand, sorry. So, so now here is an interchangeable block. Other, obviously, actually, everything we built except for the hoppers and the chest have been interchangeable blocks. You could use anything you want up to this point. Uh, and that, though, doesn't have to, that can't be anything. That has to be um, a block of which you can place warped fungus on top of. So that could be something like dirt, grass, anilium, something like that. Just if you can place a warped fungus on it, then it works. Sorcerer fits this, and it's also obviously placeable. Can place on top of that. So we have to grab some of this. Mr. Scaffolding, we meet at last. Okay, then we go. Okay, it's probably the way we have to that, yeah. <laughs> okay, that was weird, but alright. <laughs> so, building this on top of the nether is highly advised because it means you don't have to do any mob proofing at all. It's like the tiniest bit of scaffolding up, that's all you have to do. More chiseled nether bricks, that's the word. Mm -hmm. The wood is the one. Mm -hmm. 
and that's good because we need another one over there. And I'm using the uh, the chisel, the chisel nether bricks wherever there's a torch. Just to add a smidgy bit of detail. Hogan Farms, Hogan Farms. Should Hogan Farms be nerfed? Now, I would be alright if they were. I wouldn't, I wouldn't cry, I wouldn't protest this ridiculousness or anything, because it wouldn't be ridiculous and such. It would be somewhat sane by Mojang to actually nerf it. Do I want them to? Well, I'm building a farm, do I want them to nerf my farm? No, of course not. Does it look like I do? But, the thing is that these farms are OP. I'm not going to doubt that. Are there farms? Oh, that was a train! Um, I'm not going to doubt that this farm is OP. OP meaning but powerful. It's this farm is overly powerful. Yeah, just a game of turn. Um, do we need to fill this in as well? Ooh, a query. A query that must be sold. <laughs> do you like my orange cursor? Whoops, built it wrong. Oh snap! Oh snap! I kind of messed up a little bit. Whoops. So she needs to be there. She needs to chip her side for the engineer. That. Basically, we need to remove this entire thing. Hang on. I'll just uh, quickly fix that dilemma. Right back. Don't try and mine but Do not try and mine nether bricks. In the shovel. Okay. I'm gonna take a screenshot. I'll see you super duper ultra soon, puppies. Don't just fix it. Hang on. <laughs> I was gonna I was gonna end the clip and make it more. I was gonna like <gasps> Whoa! Okay, I do actually have to go because I forgot uh, nether brick fences. Hang on. Or did I? Did I forget the nether brick fences? Did I? Yes, hang on. I have to get some uh, nether brick fences. We can kind of evil the Alchia Hoglin farm. Okay, so. Boom. Getting really close to having this thing done. And it has taken me way too long. If I wasn't explaining and jumping back between worlds, like, if I... Mm. What's that supposed to be? Oh, maybe that's actually it. Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> Just as I was saying, if I wasn't jumping around worlds, it would be better. Uh, so yeah, I've got the fences, obviously. I didn't just forget the fences. So, I've got that. There you go. Aha! So, 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 tap, 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 Maybe, I'm pretty sure pigments require like a little of 11 or less to s not. Don't even move that thing. Seems to move over here. Uh, basically, hoggins can spawn at higher light levels than pigments can. Apparently, so what we're doing is we basically just spam torches in a strategic way around. Do you check if you need to move that? Did I? Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Maybe I did. Maybe I did. I mean, does it really matter in the end? We're all just. Yes, there is that stuff. Oh! Okay, so let's do this.
Okay, so, it's almost time for us to talk about the mechanics of this farm. It should be, hopefully, a little bit I find the mechanics quite interesting. And also really funny. And it just proves how powerful trapdoors are. So, speaking of trapdoors, it's try it's time to get the little piece of lev the piece el no, that's Spanish. I don't know. The piece la resistance, I think that's how it is. I think that's how I like the, the thing in which it goes anyway. These don't have to be well. They might. Well, you might want to make them either crimson or warped. I don't know if it matters if they're flammable or not. But hang on. Oh, I know. I keep jumping back and forth, and it's, if I try and edit out all the times so they go into this other world, it's going to be the most edit, it's the biggest editing nightmare of all time. But anyway, yeah, that's up. This is so stupid. Um, so we've encountered this many, many times before. Is that trap doors are so powerful? Like almost every other, almost every single episode now, we, we um, I'm actually to break the slabs and place the temporary, the temporary block like the netherrack. Break the temporary blocks. The slabs back right there. Then we need to do. To dough, apparently. We need to dough. Uh, you need the money. What? No. Okay. So. Oh, hell, the twine. All we need to do now. Boom. So, basically. So close to being able to talk about the accounts of this. So close, puppies. Because the farm is almost there. We go there, there, and there. I'm gonna check what for uh, trap doors somewhere. so fast. I'm used to having to wait ages and like in suspense to see if I place lava right. If you're doing something in the nano it just goes. That seems right. Yes. Okay, so that puppies is a completely finished hoglin farm. So let's see how this thing works. Same difference. So this thing looks pretty ridiculous. It looks pretty tiny for a farm that will produce, and we'll talk about the rates in a second. Again, I need everyone to be seated to not get their heads blown up. <laughs> Last thing I made. Yeah, it wasn't pretty. Anyway, Hoglin Farm. So, one thing you might know about already is that Hoglins are terrified of warped fungi. They see the Whoops, I keep thinking I'm in greater mode, and I have like blocks from the soul in the greater mode. Um, they see these things, and they're like, Whoa! Oh no, it's all warped and evil! I want to get so far away from this thing as I can! And so, they run away, and they're like, oh, Open trap doors, so oh, this is the thing. Yeah, yes. Thank you, I will reclaim that, just in case. I don't want to fall into my own farm. So basically, they run along here, and they'll go, Ooh, now. 
Why don't you think? Well, this, maybe if they spawn here, they'd be like, right, the last way out. But did you just see? I took, uh, well, I took half heart of damage, just because it's added up. But I should take a very little amount of damage because of feather falling my armor. But the Hoggins will take probably half a half damage when they jump off there. Now, Hoggins, they aren't that stupid. Or oh, are they? Basically, they won't try and take any jump that could deal even the tiniest amount of full damage. So I'm pretty much the smallest amount that can deal full damage. So, that's four blocks down. So they won't jump off four blocks. They're like, wow, that's dangerous. <laughs> you know, I see a completely safe walkway this way because all these trap doors are open. So basically what they'll do is they'll run along. They'll come along here. And what they'll do... Oh, that's some ninja parkour skills. Oh yes, I'm just trying to like, I'm moving my cursor around just so you can see how I run. <laughs> anyway, boing! So they'll come along here, and they'll think that they can just walk straight over to this spot, where they can then have this very big and clunky, but still safe staircase down, so they can go do do and then away. But, the thing is, the thing is, they cannot do this, because there are open trap doors, you know, and you can't actually walk through them. So, but don't tell us the Hoglands! Uh, so they'll walk along here, they'll then fall, oof, down here. And what we're going to do is we're going to have lava there, as you saw earlier. We'll have the lava there, and they're going to get flushed across. And they'll go, whoa, ow, 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 I'm in lava, I'm in lava. And then they'll get flown along over to here. Now, what's this extra trap door doing here? Well, this trap door is so if they try and get upwards and jump up in the lava. So if they were over here, say, and they try to bounce up in the lava, they would eventually, they would get up in the lava, and they would burn up, and their items wouldn't make it into the hoppers. If they were bouncing up, if they're just sitting down here, then what this trapdoor does is it actually traps them so they can't get any higher up. This is the can't swim up in lava. These trapdoors are just to block the, um, they're basically just to block the lava from flowing over the hoppers and destroying all the items. Because that would be pointless farm. So, uh, basically, that's actually the entire mechanic so far. But, there's a couple of other things. Um,. Look, one of the things is that I'm pretty sure I've forgotten two fence gates. Hang on a sec. Have I forgotten two fence gates? I think I have. Oh, I actually have two slabs and two. Whoops. I'm not sure how necessary the fence gates are, but I'll still put them in there. And actually put fence gate there and fence gate there. So, why do we have these fences over the fungus? Well, that's because uh, if, let's say, I am the hoglin, sometimes they spawn inside these things, which they can, they get really confused and they'll just start like spinning around or they won't react and eventually they'll wander over here. Then they'll run off. But what you can do is put the fence gate, put the fence there and they won't be able to spawn inside of the fungus anymore, but they'll be able to spawn right next to it. So if we just put a solid block there, then they wouldn't, they would just, um, then they would run around and yeah, they can they can still spawn like right next to here, so they could so but yeah, they would be inside the fungus. So I'm just run straight away from them. Well, how's the twang? So just make sure you don't put anything like even those up there might not. You probably don't want them there because Ho Hoggins could probably just jump off the side and run off. See, so yeah, you probably don't need this. Where's one scaffold? Come on, it's a scaffold. Is it in here? I'm pretty sure. Maybe I didn't. Anyway, I'm looking for the fence gates. I need two fence gates. Fence gates. That is one. Boom. Two. Okay. Why did I break my way? <laughs> So we put these crimson fence gates here, and they are also less than full blocks, so they help with Hoppins moving them. As far as I can tell, that's their purpose. Torches also on this block, and this block are to help uh, remove, well, to remove all spawns other than Hoppins to create, make the farm way more efficient. So we'll see you have this mob cap here, so we need one to be entirely dominated by Hoppins, basically, or as much as it can be. Okay, so now... With that, and we clearing away some blocks over here. Yeah, definitely don't put these blocks here. Or any blocks. Don't put any blocks over here. Bad idea. 
Oh, sorry, that is a silly little alarm. It's actually very important. I didn't forget about that though. I mean, it's I'm. This is actually a purposeful alarm. No, no, I'm something isn't even on. Like I probably have all my alarms set to. Um, but yes, that should be everything. So, well, we can just leave now. And pop and fire. Yeah, kind of. What we have to do now is something incredible, something so insane that it will blow our minds, puppies. But don't worry, I will save your mind from being blown by doing it myself. Uh, what I'm actually going to do is use uh, probably most of the scaffolding, I think two stacks of scaffolding. And I'm actually, just like in the last episode when we broke the bedrock, I'm going to set this to Z. You didn't have to set it to a key, but I just really wanted to do this. Keep going until it says. No, I think we're there, but if I just check. Yes. So, what the heck is it talking about? There's a build height limit in the nether. We'll be talking about that later. On when we make our cool farm. Uh, what farm is it? Well, let's just say, if it was real life, it'd be a money farm. I'll flip. I was just waving. No! Basically, what we need to do is get up to the world height. Four, two, six. Then, at that point, we then would because we need to think about that farm thing. Do a thing about the center of the farm. So if I go. Okay, so because we need to be up there, so I am literally going to climb up all the way up there now. It's going to be fun. Oh, and I'm not going to show the whole climbing on camera, but if you're wondering the weights of this farm, now I haven't done a lot of testing with this farm, but the weights that I've gotten before, um, with half an hour of testing, were uh, 10 stacks and 40, well I did half an hour of testing, and then I doubled the amount to see what it was per hour. I got 10 stacks and 40 more cooked pork chops from the Hocklands, and I also got um, one stack and eight more leather. So very, very nice. Previously to get automatic leather was really, really hard, and also automatic pork, pork, pork chops. We can't be near the top, can we? Like, why is it going to What? This should take, like, years. I thought this would take, like, little or not little years, but I thought this would take ages. Oh, we're so close now. All we have to do is go across and then... Yes, why are we going all the way up here? Well, check the mob cap. So close. Hang on, just a few more blocks. Yes! Check the mob cap. It says one. Exactly. Mm -hmm. There is one... Dang it. Oh, maybe I was actually just hitting the wrong key. Oh my flip, you know what we have to do that. We actually have to build off the side of this. Oh yeah, post it looks right there, okay. We need to get to the last 57, so it'll be this way right now. Okay, this is all right. Shh! Don't yell at me like that. Don't yell at me. Like that, mm -hmm. don't yell at me at all. Don't yell at me in any way. Minus 57. So, right here, why are we AFKing up here? Well, I'm gonna take a strong look at this M right here. This is the main thing to be focusing on, other than my voice and my speech. Um, that's the same thing. <laughs> um, check the M there. So, AFKing all the way up here means that any mobs even at the surface of the nether, and these are hostile mobs, and also, I think, squid, but <laughs> any hostile mob will instantly despawn, unless they are name-tagged or holding an item like a piglin wearing a helmet that's it's been given, or any other mob that's been name-tagged. Um, interesting that it hasn't actually shown anything yet. A bit worrying. Hmm. 
One monster. Ooh, that could be good. Two monsters. Aha. Uh -huh. I think it might have started working. So anyway, the thing is that if we AFK up, AFK up here, even any Hoggins would just get knocked off the side of the farm. Say there's a bunch of Hoggins up there because they had a mad rush. When they gets pushed off, they land on the bottom, on the bedrock blocks. Instantly despawn. Boom! Goodbye, you sent into the space of the void. Ha <laughs> ha, goodbye, Hoggin, you never even existed. Except you did, you just don't exist anymore, anyway. Basically, uh, AFK up here, and no more monsters. No more monsters anywhere else. So all the spawning, all the monsters cap spawning, will be down at the Hoggin farm. So right now we should get the maximum rates, if the farm is working. So I think what I'm going to do now, is I'm going to check up on it. I'm going to go for like a couple of minutes, maybe like five minutes, something like that, and come back and check and see if there's anything in their chest. And if there isn't, then I've either built the farm wrong or I'm standing in the wrong spot. And if there is, then good, I'll come up back up here and they have K for maybe like half an hour or something. <coughs> so 10 stacks, if we took 10 stacks, that means it would take about two and a half hours, roughly. A bit like two and three quarter hours to fill up the chest. Right around there, or two, two and a half hours to fill up the chest. Interesting. So puppies, I do have to say though, I'll see you soon. <laughs> That's so fast. I'm kind of hoping to get Monster Hunter. Why would I get that? I'm really trying to get some like it. Some sunlight. Anyway. I'll see you soon, puppies.